Okay, repeat, I was not recording. We are going on a trek today. Turn to the side. We can see, yep, that is like the same size as her or bigger. And then hers is a little smaller, but it's it's tricky because it's heavy. She has all the camera equipment. Her backpack is actually super heavy. I think it might be the heaviest actually of the three of us. So um, anyway, we're gonna be hiking about a mile and a half. Uh, there's a waterfall along here. There is some really pretty stream spots. There are some really cool plants. Um, that was a couple weeks ago, so I'm not sure if the plants are still there. So we're not quite sure where we'll be filming, but um, we have a few different workout options to choose from and we'll just kind of see, see what ends up seeming like a good fit today. So we will show you a few things soon. spots along the river I had seen. I just really like that rock back there. Um, so we're just trying to see if we can do something with that. It's a little challenging again with getting her or her or me all the in there. She's standing in for me but big enough so that you can still see the form well enough in the workouts. Um, so we're not sure if this will work out but we're just gonna give it a try. <laughs> working in a place like this is we can all choose what we feel comfortable with so that was her method and then here is my method I am going to uh, try to get myself across in the water it's actually starting to get it's a little taller than I'd like in some spots I don't know if I can keep my leggings dry okay I have to pay attention to what I'm doing now <laughs> workout and then I took all the nature footage the b-roll um so now the girls have been eating lunch and I'm headed to join them um I think I'm gonna try to go back across the river on the log um the way that Katie was doing <laughs> we'll see how that goes we did our goodbye on the log and it wasn't too bad scooching across. I'm not big on heights, so I don't like walking across logs with a big drop and water below me. But if I can scooch across, I think I'll be okay with that. 
and then we're gonna see if we can figure out a second place to to film today. because, well, she's a little thing. Well, so am I, so I can say that. But um, anyway, this pack is really designed for a bigger person because I had someone else helping before. And she's kind of like, it's just not really working too well, I think. So I wanted to try it out so I can see what's wrong with it. I think it's just that the pack is just too, too tall and too big. So she's trying out mine, which mine feels better, right? Hi. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, it's much more comfortable. Yeah, and mine's still pretty heavy, so it's not really the weight that's the issue. It's just, we're little people, so we need little items. <laughs> so that's what we will work on. This is our potential second spot. The leaves are starting to get yellow, as you can see, but honestly, it's actually kind of pretty. It's just like a little, you know, a little quilt tapestry, so um, we might try it. is snuggling up to a burned tree. <laughs> She's like right up in its business. weather but it's not too bad yet so um, it gives you a little more freedom with capturing the video when you can just actually get right into the river so do a little of that and um, now I'm about, about to head back and have my special little treat I have after every film day I'm not gonna tell you what it is yet so you'll have to wait and see oh boy I gotta tell you guys I was having a really rough time this morning. And as we were driving over here, it was about an hour, hour and a half drive to get here. My stomach was hurting really bad. I was feeling shaky um, and I'm not sick. I'm, um, I'm, I'm having a rough time right now, <laughs> uh, just emotionally and I was really feeling like, I don't know if I can do this today. Um, I just, I just felt awful, you know? So I ate a piece of cheese <laughs> and that did help uh, for a little bit. <laughs> anyway, we got here and um, I'm just thankful we did get through the day and, and things turned out okay. 
oftentimes for me, like once I get into, sorry, I'm like leaning down so that my face is in here enough, I need to tilt this up. Okay, there we go. <laughs> enough, enough of the hunchback thing. Um, yeah, usually once I get into work, it helps me uh, take my mind off things and just, you know, when you just have to be really present and there's a lot to do out here as you can see and a lot to figure out. So it's a good distraction and just helps me kind of, um, yeah, I do feel better basically. So, so I did feel a little better and, um, I'm glad we got through the day and now I'm just uh, packing up. This is a little tip. If you guys ever take water shoes on a hike, they sell two gallon Ziploc bags or I'm sure you could get something reusable. Sorry, I don't have that right now, but I do reuse these. Um, and I put my wet water shoes in here so that when I put them in my backpack, they don't ruin or get all my stuff wet. So stick that in here. I've got my camera in there, a variety of other things, and I'm gonna take off. We caught it before we left. Once again, another mishap. Um, so I realized I filmed the wrong cool down sequence today, part way through. We got a little confused. It was like I was looking at my my shot notes and like things weren't lining up right. And I'm like, wait a minute, this is supposed to be for this other meso, but this workout says it's meso two, and this is supposed to be for meso four. And so then I'm like, okay, I thought I actually caught mishap but I actually didn't it was like the opposite too hard to explain but the point is is like I realized part way through we were about to film the wrong warm-up and I'm just like something's not seeming right about this like I don't remember this warm-up going with this workout it just doesn't like we're not even working those body parts in this workout <laughs> and then I realized all because on my shot notes I typed a two instead of a four <sighs> that's how I got all discombobulated so so that happened so thankfully it wasn't a huge waste as far as like you know okay so we so I spent an extra five minutes filming a chill time that we don't need but you know it was still relaxing I still enjoyed it so we did that and once we were still here you know when I realized the mistake we were able to refilm the correct till chime chill chill time can you tell us the end of the day? Can't I can't even talk anymore. Yeah, but we were able to uh, film the correct one and also get the correct warm up. It would have been uh, really a bummer if I'd gotten home and realized that I like totally paired the wrong warm up and cool down with the workout. You know, that just would not work. So anyway. Um, that's just what this is all about though you know I have for the most part learned to take it in stride just that you know sometimes there's gonna be mistakes or things there's just so many details and um, I'm learning to just kind of go with it and not let it be overly upsetting and stuff um, which is you know big strides for me I've always been kind of a real detail-oriented person and always someone who felt like I had to do everything exactly perfectly the first time and it's taken me a number of years to work through that and to learn that like it's normal to not always get it right especially the first time it's expected it doesn't mean that anything bad about you as a person so I'm glad that I've worked through some of that because I think that's made this process a little easier um, because there's just been so many things to figure out with this workout program. Arms um, getting tired. And yeah, and, and there just are a lot of things that like you have to do through trial and error. You, you have to basically find out through doing that something doesn't really work too well. And then you figure out what would work better and fix it for the next time. So, um, yeah. <laughs>